Welcome back, English learners. Today, let's dive into some essential expressions from the English radio show Power English on EBS. Join us as we break down and explore the meanings behind these common phrases. First up, we have check out somebody something or check somebody something out. This expression typically means to examine or investigate someone or something with the intention of assessing its qualities or suitability. For instance, you might say, I'm going to check out that new restaurant downtown. I've heard great things about it. Or, let's check out the reviews online before we buy anything from that website. It's all about gathering information before making a decision. Next, we have a fan of someone something. This refers to a person who admires, supports, or enjoys someone or something. For example, Sarah is a big fan of classical music and attends concerts regularly. Or, I've been a fan of this author since I read their first book. It's about showing appreciation for something you enjoy. Moving on, we have skip something. This means to deliberately avoid doing or attending something. For instance, I'm going to skip lunch today because I'm not hungry. Or, he decided to skip the meeting and work on his project at home. Sometimes, it's necessary to skip certain activities to prioritize others. Lastly, we have remember. This is a prompt to recall something or to remind someone of a particular point or instruction. For example, remember, tomorrow is the deadline for submitting your project. Or, remember, safety comes first when working with heavy machinery. It's all about ensuring important information is not forgotten. Okay, now let's listen to the dialogue. Ricky and Denise are planning a trip to Thailand, which will include three days in Bangkok. They find a very informative blog and begin making a list of things to see. Ricky, hey, Denise, check out this blog about Bangkok. This guy has written posts about everything. Denise, boo. We can get a lot of great ideas for our trip next week. Let me get a pen and paper to make a list. Ricky, well, you know that I am a fan of Buddhist temples, so put that on the list. Denise, remember, we are only going to be there for three days, so let's choose carefully. Ricky, right, if it's something we can do here, we'll skip it. Denise, agreed, boo, look, there's an outlet mall. And there you have it, English learners. We've explored some key expressions from Power English to help you expand your vocabulary and understanding. Stay tuned for more insights and language tips on our channel. Until next time, happy learning!